Welcome to this yoga practice. I'm so happy you're here. Today we're going to be exploring expansive energy. Let's get into Let's it. Let's begin lying on our back in Shavasana, closing the eyes, palms can face up to the sky, legs spread apart, feet falling to either side. When you feel comfortable, let's begin to get out of the mind and into the body. Notice any sounds around. Notice the sound of your breathing. Notice the rise and fall of the chest. Start to slow it down, taking deeper inhales through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Let's bring our focus into our heart space. We're going to begin the practice by clearing out any old energy that may be trapped inside, clearing out our heart space, clearing out our throat space, making way for the new. We'll begin by making gentle fists and we will inhale through the nose exhaling slowly through the mouth as we gently tap our heart. Let's begin. Let's rest our arms at the side. Feel that clearing of energy. Making way for the new, releasing the old. Connecting with our heart space. Connecting with what makes us feel happy being in this moment together. All right, let's take a big overhead stretch, stretching through the fingertips, pointing the toes, when you exhale, bringing the arms to the side, knees to the chest for a little hug. Maybe just take some gentle rocks, warming up the spine. You can grab the big toes, come into happy baby. Maybe extend the legs. 
whatever feels good. And from here, we will roll up, cross the legs, plant the hands, step back into plank, inhale, and exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes, come into plank. Take an inhale and then exhale back into downward dog. Pressing into the heels, lifting through the hips, shoulders away from ears, pressing into both palms, looking beyond the thighs. Let's take a few breaths here as we open up the body, creating more space. Releasing any old energy. Allow it to just radiate off the body, off the back of the body. Thanking the energy for any lessons we may have learned. But it's okay to release. It's okay to move on to something new. You can experience whatever you want in this life. Whatever makes you feel happy. We'll focus on that today. When you're ready, let's bring our body back into plank. And lower down. Inhale up to cobra or maybe upward dog. And engage the core. Roll over the feet back into downward facing dog moving that energy around releasing the old and making way for the new let's roll forward coming into plank lower all the way down coming into cobra or upward dock Engage the core, rolling back into downward dog, releasing the energy, let it go, making space in the body. And from here, we can take some steps forward, toes together, heels together, space between each toe. And exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, release the hands. Inhale all the way up into Tadasana. Weight is equal from the right to the left, front to the back. Hips and shoulders are in alignment, reaching through the crown of the head, facing forward. and release the arms to the side we're going to connect our breath with movement 
creating some more space in the body and the mind. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm up. Side bend. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, right arm up. Side bend. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, left arm up. Side bend. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, right arm up. Side bend. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, both arms up. Open to the right. Windmill the arms back up to center. And exhale, open to the left. Inhale them back up to center. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. From here, we'll take the right foot out. Inhale it up. Exhale, bend the knee, taking some hip circles here. Other direction. Straighten the leg, maybe flip the dog, coming into wild thing. Reaching through the right arm. And from here we can come to side plank, maybe taking tree. And from here, planting the right hand, stepping forward with the right foot, rotating the back foot 45 degrees, coming up into warrior one. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale to reverse triangle. Exhale, coming down into triangle. Hand can be on the ground, on the thigh, on the calf, whatever feels good right now. And from here, bending the right leg, bringing the fingertips a little bit in front of the foot, we will come into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Left toes are pointing to the left. Maybe grab onto with the left foot. Maybe take the right hand off of the ground. Place the right hand back on the ground, release the foot. And from here, we're going to step the left foot to meet the right. Halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Inhale with a straight spine, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's close our eyes. Bring our focus and awareness back into our heart space, back into what makes you feel happy. Being in this moment together, sharing this practice, or maybe you have something more personal, something you're working on, something in your life that makes you so incredibly happy. 
bring your focus to whatever makes you feel good. Let's inhale the arms up. Exhale with a flat spine forward fold. Inhale, planting the hands halfway lift. Stepping back into plank. Inhale, and then exhale, lower down chaturanga. Coming into upper dog, inhale. And exhale, engaging the core, coming back into downward dog. We'll take it to the other side. With the left leg, we'll inhale it up. Exhale, bend the knee, take some hip circles. Other direction. Inhale the legs straight. Exhale, flip the dog over into wild thing. Reaching with the left arm. And from here, we'll come into a side plank. Maybe bring your leg into tree pose. And we will plant the left hand. Step the left foot forward. Rotate the back foot 45 degrees. Bring our arms all the way up into warrior one. Exhale into warrior two. Inhale to reverse triangle. Exhale, engage the core coming into triangle. Hand can be on the thigh, the calf, or the mat. Place the left hand a little bit in front of the left foot and we will come up into Ardha Chandrasana on the other side. Right toes pointing to the right. Maybe bend the right leg, catching it with the hand. And maybe take the left hand off of the mat. Place the left hand back on the mat, coming back into half moon pose. And from here, we will bring our right foot to meet our left, toes and heels touching. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe grab the elbows behind the legs and pull the head in toward the knees. And release. Halfway lift. Planting the hands. Stepping back to plank lowering onto our knees, coming into a child's pose. Can keep the knees together, maybe take them further apart, resting the hips on the heels, walking the fingers forward. Maybe continue to look forward and reach or an option is to take your forehead to the mat, refocusing on the breath. bring the knees together coming up into a kneeling position 
from here we're going to take camel pose. If you want your knees to be a little further apart because of your hips, that's all good. Take what feels comfortable for you. And we will begin by placing our hands on our lower back and tilting our head back. If this feels good, maybe reach down for your heels, keeping the hips and the knees in alignment. From here, we can bring our hands back to our lower back, slowly bring our spine to a straight position, and lower down, sitting onto our heels or maybe into a hero's pose, looking forward, maybe closing the eyes, feeling that new expansion in the chest, release of the old energy space for the new. Feeling into the body. Connecting with the breath. Bringing the focus into the heart space. Being here in the present, listening to the sounds around. And from here, we can lower ourselves down onto our elbows, lean the head back. And if you want to come all the way down, that's an option as well. Maybe bring the arms overhead, grabbing each elbow. Allowing for the rest of the old energy to radiate from the body, leaving the heart space, leaving the thighs, leaving the mind, thanking it for all of its lessons, but you're welcoming in the new. You're welcoming in what makes you feel happy, what brings you joy in life. we will release the arms come back to the elbows push ourselves up shift onto our booty for our final pose we'll take halasana we can bring our feet up into the sky roll onto our back touch down with our toes maybe keep the arms stretching out overhead or bring them to the sides of the body facing the front of the mat, palms facing down. 
We can close the eyes. Enjoy this counter stretch. If you want to take a shoulder stand, you can. Begin by lifting the legs all the way up, balancing on the shoulders, balancing on the back of the head. release, lowering back into Halasana, slowly lowering the legs, resting here for another moment. Releasing the upper back, the neck, calming down the mind coming into the heart, being here in the present together. Just breathing here. And we can roll our body one vertebrae at a time until our toes are pointing into the sky. And from here we will slowly lower our legs, keeping the lower back grounded. We'll take Shavasana, keeping the eyes closed. Palms can face up or down, letting the feet fall as they want to. Get into your most comfortable position. Maybe bring the shoulders a little further away from the ears, pull them down a little bit, and then rest. Let's enjoy being here in this present moment together. you're feeling more spacious after that practice. I'm wishing you a peaceful rest of your day. Namaste.